I got a new dad recliner. This thing is legit. You, yes, you can tailor all of your own baggy dress shirts at home completely by yourself. It's super easy to do. I've made a couple of tutorials on it already, but um, don't don't be me. There's there's a couple things that you want to be aware of before you dive into that. Uh, yeah, they're kind of important. I think you should subscribe. I'm SD, and I really don't like long intros. Let's uh, let's do this. When you start diving into the world of DIY tailoring, don't be me in that kind of thinking that fitted and tailored also means tight. Yes, I remember getting so tired of wearing really baggy, unfitted dress shirts that when I learned how to tailor them myself, I went way overboard. I went way to the opposite side of the spectrum to where it's like, oh sweet, instead of looking like a house in this shirt or it looking like a poncho on me, I'm gonna make it look fantastic and show every little feature and curve. They would be so ridiculously tight. I would have the buttons in the front here would always kind of start pulling at themselves. So I had to kind of round my shoulders like that to not have them pull at themselves and it just looked really ridiculous. And what I talk about a lot on this channel is the flex test. And the flex test is, well, when you pin up any kind of garment that you're gonna end up tailoring for yourself, I don't want you to just stand there looking like a bum, just not moving at all. Because when do you just stand there motionless in your clothes? Hardly ever, right? Yeah, well, you wanna kind of move and bend and stretch and see how everything feels. Like this shirt, for instance, I should have should have done the flex test in it. I actually, it, it came this way. My arms, they came this way. God delivered, I just signed. Thank you to KuFanD for sponsoring this video. Now, I bought their stuff in the past and I really liked it a lot. So they sent me a couple of their other products to show you guys. Now, this first one is their quick dry workout shirt and these are super dope. I love the fit, which is kind of crazy to admit on this channel to be honest. And I love how light and just breathable these shirts are. I have a, uh, a five pack in a couple of different colors. All of them are a size large, the sleeve length, Perfect, as well as the tightness of the sleeves. Perfect. Sun's out, gun's out time. I'm probably gonna pull the trigger on a couple more different colors and variations once it finally gets warmer in Minnesota, but uh, let's be honest, that's probably never gonna happen. And this red hoodie that they sent me, it's kind of funny because I saw this a while ago and I was gonna buy it, but I was like, mm, no, I already buy too much stuff on Amazon. I'm gonna hold off. But it all totally worked out in the end and I love this hoodie. The red is true to color and the fit, again, surprisingly fits really well off the rack. Arm length is perfect, it's nice and soft, and honestly, if you don't alter this, you're really not gonna be that upset. There's also a couple of different colors of this one as well, which I'm probably gonna pull the trigger on though, so I'll have to hide those when uh, the packages come in the mail from my family. They think I'm an Amazon addict. That's because I am. And this, oh man, this. This coat, it, it really grew on me. When I first tried it on, I was like, yo, uh, I look like I'm in the German secret police that starts with a G and rhymes with Mestapo. But, but I like it a lot now. It's their wool blend single breasted pea coat, and I have a size large here as well. It comes with an attachable scarf, which if you go look at the listing, you'll see that I'm not wearing it properly because it attaches to the coat, but I like it this way a lot more. Super warm and perfect for Sunday church. Now, uh, now I just need to go to church. Maybe you go to church, and if you do, this coat is perfect for you. There are links to all of these down in the description below. Now this one, I get emails about almost every single day. I get DMs on Instagram about almost every single day, and it's tailoring the wrong size. It's such an easy thing to do, and it's such a kind of a big mistake to make. And by that I mean, you can't take, let's say, an XXL garment and turn it into a small or a medium. It does not work that way. That's way too drastic of a change because everything is going to change. So for instance, your collar is gonna be a whole lot bigger on a really big dress shirt than it is on like a small or a medium. Same with the cuffs on your dress shirt. Those are gonna be a lot bigger. And one of the most common ones that people don't really think about is the shoulder seam. So the shoulder seam on your perfect size dress shirt, it's gonna sit exactly where you want it to. It's gonna sit, well, I'll give you one guess as to where it's gonna sit. Just one guess, on your hips. Cause my hips don't lie. So on my dress shirt, look at that, right there. That is where my shoulder seam is. But 
the shirt is a large. So in the event that this shirt was a extra, extra large, my shoulder seam, it's gonna come all the way down here. Now I could do whatever it is that I want to this garment as far as taking in the side seams and all that kind of stuff, but that shoulder seam is still gonna be right there and it's gonna look really stupid. This is one that I avoided for a really long time and it was a really stupid one that I regret avoiding and I regret not doing now and it's adding darts to my dress shirt every single time. Darts are almost a mandatory step in making your dress shirts fit you better. Because here I am thinking that, okay, well I can just take in the side seams and I can make it fit the way that I want to by just doing that, right? Well, no, not really. Like taking in the side seams, it can do a lot, don't get me wrong. So darts, every time, well, almost every time, they're mandatory. Speaking of tailoring a dress shirt, let's go do it. It's in the next video, probably somewhere there, or maybe there or there. I'll see you over there, SD out, see ya.